Good morning. It is Thursday, September 5th, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, Sister Ann Shields shares why we ought to draw close to Jesus. But first, your local weather and this news. Residents of Van Buren Township made it crystal clear last night at a town hall meeting on radioactive waste that is due to come to a landfill in the township that they do not want it. Congresswoman Debbie Dingle says if people don't want radioactive waste in the area, they need to take action immediately. They have to take it if the sites are legal. So what you want is state law that regulates this, but that means we need bipartisan support to get these laws changed. The landfill is just one of five in the country that can accept radioactive waste. What will come to the area is from the Manhattan Project, which was what developed the atomic bomb in New York State in the 1940s. Was your home flooded by a water main break in Grand Rapids? Get a lawyer. That's the message from city leaders who held a meeting with victims of such a break in June, causing tens of thousands of dollars in damage. City manager Mark Washington says they need to use the legal system to try and get some of the money back that they have spent for repairs to their homes, vehicles, and property after the city denied requests for financial help, citing government immunity. I think they need to seek counsel, and uh, there are uh, processes in terms of attorney representation where those financial burdens are built into a representation costs, and so uh, they need to talk through options with, with legal counsel. Residents share the sentiment that the city's offer of resources for immediate help was too little, too late. One woman said they are frustrated with the resources weren't offered until 12 weeks after the flood. State House Republicans have announced a 10-point policy plan called the Mission for Michigan. They want to make the state more affordable by cutting taxes, housing costs, and energy bills, and demand accountability and an effective government. Republicans are in the minority in both the House and Senate and say the plan sets their priorities if they retake control of the House in November. Protesters are demanding Detroit police release the body cam footage of a man being shot and killed by a bailiff when he was being evicted in Palmer Park. They marched yesterday from 36th District Court to Detroit Police Headquarters, protesting the death of 45-year-old Sherman Butler. Police say Butler attacked the bailiff and lunged at him using a box cutter before he was shot and killed. The department says they generally do not release video evidence related to deadly shootings. And a huge $20 million renovation is underway at Copper Peak in Gogebic County in the western Upper Peninsula. The ski jump is the largest in the western hemisphere and is expected to open a new tourism market for the state. It was built in 1969 but has been mired in debt after the nonprofit that ran it had trouble paying. You're listening to Michigan Mornings. Now this. Do you have a teenager at home who's full of potential? Too often the world is telling you to be content with mediocrity instead of raising respectful and responsible young adults with strong character. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Ray. If you need some help, not only to navigate those teen years, but to really enjoy them, check out my book, Standing Strong, Good Discipline Makes Great Teens, as well as my other books, on the store page at AveMariaRadio.net. We're looking at sunny skies today in the Motor City with a high around 84. Tonight will be mostly clear with lows dipping to 67. Tomorrow, the rain returns and a thunderstorm is possible after 11 a.m. Our high will reach 85. The rain should clear out overnight, leaving Saturday with mostly sunny skies and much cooler temperatures. Highs will reach the lower 60s. Sunday will be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 60s. We're looking at sunny skies today in the Saginaw Valley with a high around 84. Tonight we'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms and lows will dip to 63. Tomorrow rain is likely throughout the day and into the evening. Our high will be 71. Saturday will be partly sunny with much cooler temperatures. Our highs will only be around 60. Sunday will be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 60s. 
Here's the latest sports news. Jason Foley served up a walk-off RBI single in the bottom of the 10th inning as the Tigers lost to the Padres 6-5 in San Diego. The Tigers will try to avoid the three-game sweep by the Padres this afternoon. The Lions' first injury report has been released in defensive tackle. DJ Reader could make his debut this Sunday. Head coach Dan Campbell says Reader has taken enough reps over the last week to be ready for Sunday's season opener against the Rams. One of the most difficult struggles of our life could be to strengthen our relationship with Jesus. Sister Ann Shields, SGL, shares some advice on the matter. Let us draw near to him. That's where we find peace. That's where we find hope and love and courage. Really, any time you are in need, even when you're not in need, just say, Lord, Help me be more like you. Help me to follow you. Help me to obey what you've given me because you've given me so many books. You've given me so much to read, to think about. But the most important thing is you are right here. I can't see you. He is right here. He knows you and he loves you. Please make this a time that you take out something that you know is wrong that you're doing or some habit that you want to get rid of, just take one. Just stop and say, Lord, I want to stop this. I want to change this. I want to make this better. Whatever it is, just take one thing and ask God to help you step by step. And it's hard to break a habit. So don't expect that it's going to be miraculous, but God will hear you and he will lead you in the way he wants you to go. Food for the Journey with Sister Ann Shields is on weekdays at 6.45 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. on Ave Maria Radio and anywhere with the Ave Maria Radio app. St. Leo the Great says, when Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit, he shows that the kingdom of heaven is to be given to those who are distinguished by their humility of soul rather than by their lack of worldly goods. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. I'm Matthew Handley. Stay connected with me throughout the day on X. I'm at Radio Handley and Lord willing, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.